guess what we need to first start off with is what taxes we currently pay and what kinds of services are purchased with the tax money that we all pay. And then once you understand where that money is going, for example, most of it is going to public education, health, and human services. Those three large departments cover almost half of all the state funds that we uh, generate in a year in taxpayer dollars. So if we understand where this uh, money is going and you can see where potentially we can cut, or maybe after we discuss it, you'll realize that we can't necessarily cut the taxes that we're collecting currently. Um, you know, we can have that discussion. The, for me, I think it's important that if our economy is doing well, you know, being able to work, being able to have small businesses and large, large businesses thrive, the tax burden is a lot um, lower. I, I, I don't know how to explain it to you in a very short time period, but basically if we have a thriving economy, the base of taxes is more, and so we don't have to continue to increase the taxes. There's also something called the use tax, which was introduced and passed into law in 1969, and that's every time we purchase something outside of Hawaii and bring it back, we're supposed to be paying a tax already. We're actually losing um, the calculation was about $180 million a year on existing taxes that we as taxpayers are supposed to pay. If we were actually doing that, we wouldn't have to raise all these other kinds of fees. So I can explain to you a whole lot more. It is quite complicated, but thank you for asking about that.